I don't want to just be seen as a Grant Ackett's protege or one of his cooks. I want him to, uh, you know, admire the work that I'm doing. My name is Greg Backstrom. I am the chef and owner of Olmsted in Brooklyn. Within our first year at Olmsted, New York Times two-star review. Uh, we had a three-star review in Eater, Bon Appetit top 50 list, Food and Wine top 10, Savour top 10. I'm originally from Chicago, so I've worked at Alinea. Then I moved to Spain. I worked at Marguerite's for a little while. Then I moved to New York to work at Per Se. From Per Se, I went to Stone Barns, and I was the chef de cuisine at Blue Hill at Stone Barns with Dan Barber. The goal is always to open up your own restaurant. You don't work at that level of a, of a restaurant to not then try to go alone one day. And it's still a goal. I still would like to own a Michelin star restaurant. It's what we strive for here. For me, Michelin is validation from a, an industry, from a peers, from mentors. You know, I love cooking. I love cooking for family. I, it, there's a lot of reasons why I do it. But the part that really drives me is I want to earn the respect of the people that I respect. At Olmsted, what ultimately I'm trying to do is combine my two biggest influences, and that is Alenia, and that is Stone Barns. And that comes across in the food, and it, it comes across in the garden. It's for us, and it's for the guests. You know, we, we want to you know, grow what we can and use stuff that we're, we're growing. It's walking this line of purpose and approachable. I mean, when we come up with a dish, it is entirely ingredient driven. We go to the farmer's market four or five times a week. We're not looking for the, the lettuce or the herb that no one else has. We're, we're looking for carrots and kale and potatoes and, and tomatoes. We want things that when a guest is reading it, they are comfortable in, in what they're ordering and what they're reading, they don't feel out of place. And we're just gonna present it in a way that they've never seen it before. I mean, I am 100% a chef because I was in the Boy Scouts for a lot longer than most people should probably be in the Boy Scouts. It was like over a decade. That military type of uh, environment, I thrive off of it. I do well in that per se, Alenia environment. But the push, like, I could feed off of the push. That is even, that's something that I feel is one of the biggest challenges here, is that I don't provide that push here on purpose. I don't need those people around. I mean, they're, it was inside me all along. You know, like it's uh, at a young age. It was, if you're gonna do it right, you know, do it right. So I decided at a young age I wanted to be a cook, and so I'm gonna keep doing it right. That's really the stem of it. I wanna make my parents proud, and I wanna make Chef Agus proud. When I was working for Grant, what he was to Thomas, I wanted to be for Grant. And so I, until I earn that seat at the table, I'm going to keep going.